Hello, it's Kelly from Man and Kelly's Philippine Adventure coming to you from Indiana and it's freezing cold out here. I mean it is cold. No matter what I do, I just cannot keep cool here. But um, yeah, everything's going fine. Uh, just doing a check-in, I guess. I uh, got the uh, my glasses, got them ordered. I got the doctor's visit. Got that taken care of, and I'm blinding you guys. Sorry about that. Got the uh, uh, things I need to get done, like glasses, my uh, health. Got it checked out. I'm breathing heavy because it's so freaking cold here. His breath, it's cold is taking my breath away. It really is that cold. It's about 50 degrees, maybe. It's a pretty day, as you can look around and see. It's a beautiful day out today. They really been needing to work on these roads because they have been bad. Can't even get away from the the uh, cold wind. Almost too cold to even do anything. As you can see. They're doing work on the road ahead of us here. They're putting new blacktop down. So, and I don't know how far away it's going. So we got the new work going on here. They're also filling potholes up in front of the house. But on top of that, we have another house that's a, a modular home getting put in down here at the corner. And it's a pretty day, but the sky is getting darker as you can see. Looks like we got rain coming in. I don't know, we'll see. But, so we can just take a walk here and see what's going on. I love these old fences like this. Don't know why, just rustic looking, I guess. So here we go. This is the house that's going in. They brought it in yesterday, day before that. And it's a small house, it's a modular home, but it's not bad looking, little house. I think they're gonna maybe put a garage right here, possibly, it's got space for one, or maybe on that side. Hello, that didn't take long. <laughs> they gonna put a garage on it or? Oh, on that side, oh, okay. Oh yeah, okay, right there it is. There's a the garage. Sweet. Nice. I need to do some things here on the house though. Of course this is my house. grass. They have someone come here uh, this week. He should be here today to do that. Hopefully we'll get that taken care of. But other than that, everything is going good. It's cold out here. Kind of noisy too because we have the uh, dam. These things, these wind chimes, we got them all over here. We got them there, there, there. I got two sets of them there. Oh, yeah, very noisy with the wind chime, but it's also very windy. It's usually not this noisy. Oh. 
this truck right here that truck has to back up and then let the cars out and then he has to pull forward and then back in here so he's been going back and forth all morning onto the side street here so that's what he's been doing and I think they're getting ready to dump more they did one lane already out there you can see they got one lane done that he's standing on or standing by you can see the little you can see the little ledge the little black line that's the upper lane and the lower lane they just put oil and, and like a gravel down so I'm thinking maybe they're going to start dumping the tar I think and then have the guys come up and flatten it out and smooth it all up because even way up there they're doing the work but now with the road being fixed and the uh, the house going in down there it's uh, uh, a little bit more busy than usual my, my thought process isn't working right now I'm too damn cold you know some of the things uh, I do miss about the Philippines one I miss the yeah, this is gonna sound stupid, but I miss the heat. I, I really do. Usually, it's you know it's hot all the time, but at least I know what to expect. It's like for this last week, we went from 85 degrees, 90 degrees, down to 45 at night, and back up to 70. And, you know, it just, it just up and down all over the all over the scale. I got a lot of things done while I was here. I got my driver's license switched over which they were expiring in October so I went ahead and had those done um, bank cards are updated my bank cards uh, you gotta have bank cards where you, when you're out of the country and always check in with the bank let them know that you're gonna be out of the country so you don't end up losing your um, cards because uh, you use a purchase your card to purchase something in uh, the Philippines or any country for that matter for uh, <coughs> excuse me um, they may they may end up shutting off your card and you don't want that to happen uh, what else did I do I got some work done on my my back I needed to see a doctor about that and uh, shopping oh wow did I do some shopping I was really really needing some clothes I mean head to toe got a lot of clothes I needed a lot of them so got all that taken care of because being at six foot five it is really hard to get clothes in the Philippines I mean I could probably order them online but everywhere I went they, they just didn't have clothes that fit and it was it was getting really it was getting really old after a while so I did buy some clothes uh, what else did I do uh, I visit family just spend a lot of time with family and, and uh, running around I enjoy the fact that I can go to Walmart walk in there and get something it's fun to hear the people standing in line for maybe two or three minutes and they're complaining and you know arguing and you know just mumbling under their voice under their breath about how this 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 whole three or four minute wait is is hard on them when in the Philippines when you stand in line you can stand there for a half hour with, um, so yeah it was kind of it's kind of funny um, I'm gonna miss the uh, I'm going to I'm definitely going to miss the roads here because you can you can actually get out of third gear in the Philippines I can go all all through the city and I'll be lucky to get out of third gear or even two third gear I mean uh, I'm, I'm not going to miss one thing that I'm not going to miss is uh, this cold weather this cold weather is is unbelievable I mean it hit it was warm this morning I mean I had the windows open all night long but when I got up this morning it started getting cooler as the day went on and it got just right out cold today so there's that little problem oh and other than that everything's doing fine here spending time with some family checking in uh, having nightly um, chats with Liam and Ann because uh, well we have messenger so but there's a 12 hour difference in time or 13 hours actually I believe when it's 8 p.m. here, it's 9 a.m. there. So there you go. Um, so we talk twice a day to, to, to see each other. When I'm when she goes to bed and when I'm going to bed. I leave here in July. I go back. Uh, I just I, I'll be glad to see him. I really miss being around them. That's gonna 
happen pretty soon because, well, my time here is running out. It's going to end here in about three or four weeks, and then I'll head back to the Philippines. <coughs> Excuse me, trying to keep warm. But no, I can't think of anything else. Yeah, just kind of checking in with everybody, giving some thoughts today. So I guess that's it. But uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. Leave any comments or any ideas or anything around these parts you'd like to see. Leave a uh, comment. Who knows, maybe I'll be headed up that way and we can make a video of it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, we really do appreciate it. So I'm Kelly and we'll see you in our next Philippine adventure. Bye-bye.